were in a race against the Nazis. And I know what it means. It was one of the biggest movies last year. And because of the hype, it doesn't take long to recognize the work of J. Robert Oppenheimer, the father of the atomic bomb. I don't know if we can be trusted with such a weapon. But we have no choice. It was one of the main priorities of the Manhattan Project, which was based right here in Los Alamos. That's also where Oppenheimer lived for a period of time. When you walk into this house, you can feel the aura. It is just really kind of an interesting thing. This picture showing just some of the home's features, which was built back in 1929. Stone masonry, a grand fireplace, and huge windows. But in these photos, a different story. Electrical needs and foundation repair, showing just some of the ways time can take a toll. We have to pour concrete stem walls on all three sides, uh, install helical piers, put in um, new cross beams. That's why the city's historical society is coming together for a special fundraiser with an estimated $2 million in renovations. The group is partnering with a Santa Fe architectural firm to kick off the work, but officials say it all starts with you. And the recent boost in tourism is an added bonus. It's been tremendous. I don't know, 50% more, 100% more. It's been incredible. Um, starting in the summer, instead of one tour a day, we started offering three a day and they were full. From a look into the mysterious world of nuclear weapons to the complex mind of Oppenheimer. A much broader mm -hmm. story about him and being one of those important people in history this is a place that we hope people will continue to come to to learn about their history. All to preserve a true New Mexico treasure. Reporting in Los Alamos, Brianna Albizu, KOAT Action 7.